Good morning guys and welcome to my first video about my 4.8 liter powered Datsun 240Z. To tell you a little bit about the car, it used to be a 2.5 liter 1JZ engine. Uh, over the winter I pulled it out and we're going to be putting in LS series truck engine from a GMC Silverado 4.8. So first video I'm making, we're going to be talking about engine mounts. So these materials here are basically what I'm going to end up turning into my motor mounts. This here is a stock GM motor mount, fits in a truck, won't fit in the car. The um, reason I have this is because we've gotten some quarter inch steel plate, lay it down on top, take a little spray paint, spray over the holes, punch them out, and then you're going to want to drill them out to give yourself templates for making the new motor mount. Once you've used some spray paint to spray over top your original motor mount, you're going to want to take a center punch and mark the center of each hole. So it moves over here to the drill press. Uh, when you're doing this, you're going to want to step up your drill bits, starting off something eighth inch and working your way up to about 420 thou will uh, clear these stock bolts. Um, make sure you clamp it down you, pretty thick. You don't want it to spin and cut up your hands. going to be doing for the mounts. Um, I don't know what angle that is, I, maybe a 60 degree block or something like that, so that would be maybe 30 degrees off. We are going to be taking that square plate and putting it on an angle to make it parallel to the ground, something like that. So we're going to be putting it on the chop saw, chopping in the appropriate angle, uh, welding it on, and then we're going to just do some triangle braces up from the base to the top. Uh, it's going to sit on those motor mounts and we should be good to go. Good morning guys. As you can see I've uh, done some really high tech setup here on finding the right angle that we're going to be mounting that square tube bet. Uh, a little bit of research last night. Uh, these are supposedly 90 degree blocks. So it would make sense that it's about a 45 degree angle. So what I did is just stuck a level to my flat oil pan, um, rested it on a tire, set my angle finder to 45. And if you look there, um, close enough as to make no difference to 45 degrees. So that's what we're going to be cutting our tube at. Okay, so I'm back inside the engine bay. And I thought I'd give you guys a little bit more information about my original motor mount setup. Uh, I made it years ago. Um, it's not probably not the best design. Uh, it has worked to hold up an engine of similar weight. So what we have is Jaguar motor mounts. Um, no idea what model they came off. Just jump on parts stores till you find ones. Uh, I think it's uh, two ribs in the center, two on the outside for a total of four. There's a couple different sizes. Uh, not to say the other ones won't work. Uh, on top of the Z's frame rails here, I had a uh, probably 3 16 plate. I welded on top and then I also braced it with some angle iron here below. Drilled some holes, plug welded it to the frame as well. So, while we're in here, I'm going to use a tape measure and check the distance between the two mounting holes to get an approximate idea how long we are going to be cutting the pipes. And, 26 inches across, uh, measure the width of the engine and then uh, add a couple inches on and divide it by two and cut each pipe. Alright, so we're back down at the engine. Uh, I've decided to go with a 10 inch, 10 inch cut on the pipe just to be safe. Uh, I could probably get away with about six, but uh, I'd hate to cut it short. Uh, so we'll cut it a little bit longer, we'll cut it down once we get in the car.
Okay, so now that it's sitting in the car, we can get a rough idea about where we are going to be attaching our uh, square tubing to our steel plates on the side. It will definitely not be too much uh, extra clearance around this when it's all done. But if we throw this one down here, I can see that I'm definitely going to have to take another couple inches off. I figured I probably would have to, but I... Uh, decided to cut them longer rather than shorter and down on this side I think before I get to work I'm gonna have to take the brake booster out and maybe the steering shaft just to give myself some room to play with so with the engine and transmission in um, we got a pretty good shifter location for the uh, the stock t5 to come through uh, right in the original center hole here so uh, I'm probably gonna make this uh, just about where we're gonna lay the engine down in its final position all right so after taking a look at all that uh, I found out that my passenger side motor mount down here actually sits a little farther forward than my driver side mount on the other side. So, in order to make this plate work, I'm actually going to have to re-drill holes on the motor mount plate for the uh, passenger side of the engine. I'm just shifting the plate up and forward as far as possible. Uh, should be able to get enough bite on the pipe then that uh, we can get it to sit square on the motor mount in the car. So I'm going to go ahead and re-drill this.